Um, right, so we've got to figure out what we're doing again. It's been a while since we played. Um, I don't remember the last clue we got. Really. No, not really. Well, we just must have come out of this room, so let's have a quick look. Is it Rebecca's room? I think it might be. Oh no, the door's locked. We couldn't have come out of this room. Oh, I don't know. Alright, well, we're, I think we'll just have to do the usual patrol and communicate strategy yeah so yeah, yeah we've got a mark here julio <laughs> let's see what he has to say and then we can see what we've got in our list and see what they if it can refresh our memories a little bit yeah we don't we're not going to remember what's new it's been like three weeks <laughs> so, yeah um i am uh at a loss And to be honest, this isn't helping. <laughs> no, like, I just don't remember. All right. I know we did stuff like, yeah, we've done Tom Gun Collector for everyone, I think. <laughs> I think we've now gone round and asked everyone about Tom's. Yeah, that's uh, one of the ones I had on my last list. No one so really my had last that list... much to say about it, did they? No, they were, like, not surprised, or I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of a weird thing to be here. But, um, okay, um... right, well, let's just have a poke round. Julio was quite small. I think we had Suzanne's investigation was the thing we picked up, but... Oh, yeah, we had a whole bunch of stuff about the... Yeah, so Suzanne is essentially conducting an investigation. It's why she's on this but ship. But I think we may have... I think we may have talked about that to Suzanne. Yeah. And she she's like, I'll come to you with... When I've, when I've got answers. Yeah. Or something to that effect. Yeah, there's a... Very good chance that we've talked to Julio about all of this anyway, I guess. Or that mm. whatever we've accrued since is probably one tiny little extra or something. Um, hmm. Suzanne's actually got, like, now a decent reason for being on this ship, unlike anyone else. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it makes more sense for her to be here on yeah. a ship of full of people she hates. Yeah, um, why she was so desperate to get on, given that they don't want her around. Yeah. Okay, nothing here. Uh, <laughs> Dick is a blank slate. Um, As always. Yeah, this was all done, and then I think that, that was done, all done as well. I think. So, yeah, no, I we, had, talking... we had a bunch of stuff about this Raphael. We, so we started last session learning about Raphael Lambert, who I've decided oh, yeah, has and he a got bad, framed. <laughs> that pronunciation on his name. And his, yeah, being framed by Nicholas Karabajan. Yeah. So that he could be taken out of the picture, presumably so that Tom could marry Rose, which gave him an in into a solicitor's business. Someone mm. the solicitor? Is it like Melville the solicitor or something? I think I think that's right, yeah. Solicitor Melville. Everyone keeps talking about him in that term. So we got that bit. I feel like there was another thing that was revealed. Oh yeah, we kind of got the clue that... Um, Nikos might have also had something to do with the death of his first wife, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, we did. And it was kind of like lined up in the weirdest of ways, like two days before. Yeah. He um, like paid someone to do something or there was the car was tampered with. So she died in a car crash with a, a car that she that Nikos bought her for her birthday or something, some sort of gift. Was it? Was it the confession note? Um, no, I don't. I don't think so. Well, let's let's get out of Julio's conversational vicinity. <laughs> we'll stand just here. He'll never see us. It could have been the envelope. Oh no, that's okay, the actual. So this is the thing that um, is um, press clipping telling us about the. 
What's in the... It's either the letter, paper, or sheet of paper. Okay, this is Raphael the rose one. And Rose. Yeah. <laughs> That's the very original paper. Okay, yep. Yeah. Nick Class, I've done the little job you asked me to do. You know who. And yeah, and that you was very close. Yeah, you put together that that date is basically two days before, I think. Yeah. The, the, Would it be two days of... before or two days after? No, hang on. He... No, it's the two days before, I think. That's the fourteenth, and the and the date was the sixteenth. Yeah. So the little job being like sabotage or something. Before yeah, she I, dies, I would assume so. I guess. Either way, it's quite heavy. That is a quite heavy implication that Nick Kloss had something to do with his first wife's death. Mm. Or at least something going on around there. Maybe 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 it was uh it it could in theory be like he's done something dodgy and then he yeah. gets found out and someone as revenge does something to his car. Yeah. But I think that's uh it it's too uh what's the word? Um coincidental? Or no, it's in, like there's too many steps that we don't know about. Oh right, okay. in, in that theory, like we have no real evidence between those things. Working with the information we have, it's easier to assume he did something. Yes, I I would say the um, it looks very much like he's uh, been up to no good, um, murder wise, um, or at least <laughs> um. Aligning things so that things fall in his favour. <laughs> That's in... what they say. That's what they say about different crimes. This one's been up to no good, <laughs> murder-wise. Yeah, shenanigans <laughs> <laughs> of the deathy variety. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know because he, obviously he's he didn't do it, but he's definitely made it so that she would have an accident. So he mm. that that uh, yeah, I mean. All right, at the very least, that's what Daphne seems to think. Yeah. Because she seems to have confirmed that that... Well, that, that piece, that sheet of paper basically confirms it, right? With the date. But I mean, like, I think, but I think uh, it's more important that we know motive at this point. And I think it was at some point mentioned that Daphne does think, based on that paper, that Nicholas did something. Yeah. Where did we get that note? In some linen probably <laughs> was it we, one of the various we, pieces of paper that has been secreted in in between sheets of linen in the on the ship <laughs> yeah, everyone think, has think, misunderstood the purpose of linen right this is not a file of facts easy you're meant think, to sleep on this i think i think it was in linen i don't remember yeah um, or oh i don't know because we we grabbed some stuff the room was trashed I think. Let me. No, 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 that was before. I think that was before. We picked up one. Was it in our bag? Whose bag, though? I think we got a. Daphne's bag when she threw it. Ah. At Thingy. I think that's that's what happened. She pulled out the gun. Okay, that would make sense. Because we also stole something from Rose's bag, but I think that was the lead to to Tom, gun collector. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that was that was gun collector. That that was done. That was done when our bag was just left by itself. Right. And as the upstanding detective we are, we just rifled through it. Oh, she was very unhappy. We've not made a good impression, I don't think, on here. But then we're not here to make friends, which no, oh, and I don't. Whoop. I don't know if I. Psst, Inspector. I don't know who this is. So I have something to tell you. It's Rebecca. Inspector, what I have to tell you must stay between the two of us. I promise I'll be discreet. <laughs> Jesus. Well, it's about Rose. Rose? Yes, Rose. She killed my husband. She really had the best reasons for doing it. It's very strange what... Yeah, that that would be the face I'd be pulling. Oh, really? What do you mean? Raphael Lambert, do you know him? 
Yeah, weirdly, we're actually on top of Lambert. on top of the information this time. Rose's ex fiance. Yes, well, Inspector, you should know that it was Niklos who took care of getting rid of Lambert. Of course he did it, upon the request of Rose's father, Melv- Why is that? Well, Rose found out, and since then she wanted to get back at Niklos. I thought I had unlimited time to do these. Um, I mean, you do, generally, yeah, just not that one. that one, she decided to, uh... I don't like the way you're talking. <laughs> I speak much faster than this. Um, also, I was quite enjoying the dynamic... Uh, cabin there. boy, <laughs> the, 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 the dynamic shifting between the perspectives. Um, that was very cinematic. I was really into that. Just that. Um, it's her, Inspector. She even brought a gun. Yes, but Niklos was killed <laughs> with a knife. <laughs> Never mind that, Inspector. <laughs> she probably realized that we knew she had a gun. Therefore, she used another method. She's an ace detective. Yeah, well, we can't talk. <laughs> look, we can't. Look, we can't have that attitude. <laughs> we can't start questioning our our ability to to pass this as Raoul and just believe what she says. Yes, I am a crap detective, <laughs> so I should believe Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> we can't take it that far into the head cannon, I don't think, so I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We can't make this choice. We better give up. Well, he always keeps telling us we can't do things. <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> but still, <laughs> do you believe Rebecca right now? No. <laughs> no, not at all. But I do think Raoul is... Good. Thank you Re so much, Rebecca. I think that all of this will be useful. And remember, Inspector, Rose hated Niklos. It sounds like everyone hated Niklos. He sounds like a real dirtbag. Um, so yeah, yeah, I don't think that happened, because that's silly. <laughs> I don't think any of that happened. Yes, no, this will be no, very no. useful. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> as in, as in... Uh, like, I think all the facts behind it are true, uh, but she's weaving it into a... Um, like, just who? not... For... Rose didn't have the gun, though, right? Rose? Rose has an advert for a gun. <laughs> an advert for a gun and possibly has a gun, but we don't know if the gun is where, where it is or who has it. Well, it was Rebecca that was holding the gun the last time we were playing. Was it Rebecca? Rebecca had a gun on Dick Schmuck and... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And Daphne threw Daphne her threw handbag back. like uh, some sort of crazy Spider-Man character. <laughs> like, just knocking it and out. Knocked her out. Knocked her out with it, because it was full of, like, bowling balls or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... Like, she was able to really... Like, were that into action and not... Scott, Scott, what is one of those, uh, one of those bags that have like a metal plate at the bottom? Yeah, just just for knocking out her stepmom that she hates. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously with the only new information we really got was that Nicholas did it under the orders of Melville. Yeah, according to Rebecca. According to Rebecca. And that is what she perceives to be the motive for Rose, having done it. Nicholas sabotaged. Now, let's be her honest. Regardless of who he got the yeah. who he got the uh, instruction to do it from, whether he got any instruction at all, maybe it was his own plan. It doesn't. Yeah, the, the actual event happened. Yeah. Regardless, which does give Rose motive. I just don't think she did it. There's nothing to our. Uh, uh, to give us any information on why Solicitor Melville would have wanted to do that. That mm. is there. Whereas we've got an obvious connection in that Tom suddenly became her fiancé and apparently has no interest in her. Yeah. Like, that's much more suspicious than Solicitor Melville doing it for no for reasons unknown, I guess. 
unless it was just a mutual thing where all these the stars aligned and we we all want to do this dirt bag thing together <laughs> Right. <laughs> How lucky. Yeah, like a three man three old man conspiracy thing. Yeah. We all benefit from this in some weird way, except for Rose, but who cares? Because she's a woman. The other thing is given that what happened before, um is it a, a, a limitation of the game again, possibly rather than or, uh, than the story or whatever, but None of that was like, are you okay from being hit by the bag and being unconscious? What was that about with the gun? Like, yeah. maybe give yeah, that gun don't. back to me now, because or give that gun to us, because you Maybe clearly... we can talk to her again, because that was like a set seed. Should we give it a try? Yeah. It just seems like, well, we're limited. I <laughs> know she's in there now, and she's locked the door. <laughs> I'm going to look for it. Hello? You have to look through and not examine because it's examine. It's one of those weird words that means look at the thing and describe it, but yeah. don't do the thing you'd expect to do with it. Expect inspect the object and describe it in detail, but don't use anything. <laughs> um. Yeah. So okay. So we can't talk to her. But yeah, even if we had gone in there, I don't think it would have been possible because we're limited by the conversational choices in our um prompt. And none of them are... True, true. Concer- oh, we, I guess that's not necessarily true. They have built in a few bits and bobs extra, haven't they, in, at certain times? Like specific, yeah, where like, you, cut like it adds a thing based on a cutscene, yeah. Yeah, so I might be wrong about that, but it's moot. No, I agree, though. I think it is a little bit like they... I think maybe it's it's a bit of... I don't know if it's truly the fault of like the, the system design, but I think it's more... With this sort of system design, you have a limited amount of time to get everything in, and like it just gets cumbersome, and you kind of have to chuck out things that may seem a bit superfluous, because otherwise, people players will get bogged down by all these unnecessary details. Yeah, maybe. Um... I mean, there seems to be enough of that already, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, there but it still feels narratively bits. disjointed to Pertinent. have those scenes happen, and then basically. They are, they're used to facilitate the transference of um, clues, mm. but you don't then comment on them. Like he's just, I, I, fair enough. Like he's back to where he is. It's a point and click adventure game. He doesn't appear bothered by the fact that he was threatened by a gun. He's just going to keep smoking, and we will make no reference of it at all. And equally, Rebecca. Um, when we talk to her, I imagine we'll make no reference to the fact she assaulted someone with a, a gun. Um, yeah. And we are a police inspector, I think. <laughs> I mean, it's really hard to tell. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, we're, we're supposed to be some sort of authority. We're allowed to go around asking questions, though no one deigns to respond with, to them with the answers. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe they're just... For, they're just um, uh, placating us while they're stuck on the ship, while they enact their little dramas, and maybe we're mm. a ghost. Uh, okay, maybe. I don't really know what I'm doing now. So that man, I I feel like we've talked to everyone. But... So I'm just gonna explore a bit and see. Fair enough. See what's new, if anything. See if there's anyone we could talk to we couldn't talk to. One thing, a person I don't think we have talked to, possibly, if I'm remembering right, is Tom. Yeah, or Fabiani. I think he's disappeared off the face of the planet as well. <laughs> he's in the secret casino deck. <laughs> so where all the staff go? Well, one can only assume somewhere on this ship must be somewhere that what, some people might have fun. The lounge? That lounge. <laughs> that tiny lounge with three chairs. That lounge. Guess what? I want to come in the kitchen. <sighs> I mean, we'll probably get in there at some point, but I don't know where. It just feels rude. And I don't think there'll be anything of any use in here either. I think we must have mined this for all it's worth now that I've had a key 
in a pot and uh, clue in that hamper. Yeah, yeah no, I d if there's another clue in this room, I'll be so angry. <laughs> in the no, linen, hidden in the linen, there'll be a note. Is it gonna be it gonna be another linen clue? Because that's the only, the only. There's there are so many linen clues. Because there's nothing to do here, <laughs> so all they've got is to put things in linen. Um, I'm going to walk. or in pots, yeah. or in a cupboard, or I don't know. Like they just put things in weird places. Very bizarre ship-based scavenger scavenger hunt. Now you're you're certain there's nothing in that cupboard. I've given up and on that cupboard. Fair enough. Can't even. Disturb the spiders. Not that I would want to. But you don't have the option. Right. I feel like we've talked to her. <laughs> we sidle up to her from this side. We didn't get anything from that little conversation. It might be under Rose. I think that's new. Rose's revenge Wait. or Rose's suspicions about Nicholas? No, suspicions about Nicholas was already there. I don't know if revenge okay. was there. Let's just think start revenge. from here and work our way down. Okay. Like all timid folk, Rose can be fairly surprising. Cool. <laughs> I'm glad you're here backing me up. Oh, so request for payment is the form. Right. Ooh, I don't recognise this. Okay. I remember this letter. Daphne already showed it to me. She was frightfully astonished. I admitted that it was an amazing coincidence, and it was right to be suspicious. Have we talked to Daphne about this? Question I don't think we have. No, possibly not. Oh, yeah, after. Did we I was right about the dates, though. 16th and 14th. Yeah, did we have this before? Uh, no, so, I don't... I... Yeah, I might be rereading some of this. But... See here, Inspector. The letter is dated June 16th, 1912, which was two days after her mother's death. Daphne is seriously convinced that this letter had something to do with the accident. I'm trying to resist the temptation to go through everyone again in full, you see? That's why. Because, ugh, oh, I just don't want to. Yeah, think no, Tom do I. Be... Tom hasn't been there for a while, but he might be. The hour's not passed yet, so people shouldn't have moved around. They move around at will. <laughs> they move around after events, from what I've seen. <laughs> but also every hour. Except for Dick, who just stays still. Yeah. He likes his smoke, he's having the world's longest cigarette. <laughs> right, so maybe we need to... Let's ask him, since we're here, about those little bits and bobs. I'm not hmm. sure we had before. Yeah, I feel like we were on a dead end. Never seen this letter. Oh, he's keeping up with his standard. Um, and then... Uh... Know nothing about this. 
knows nothing about it. Hmm, alright. Go with this door. Yeah, I feel like we reached a, some kind of dead end. Um, because... I, f I feel like I remember us going around and talking to people. As in that we had already done this, really. Yeah, I think so. Like the last thing that happened was some kind of event, oh. but... Psst, Inspector. I have something to tell you. I wonder if you can just Psst. ignore him. Who's this? Ah. I know who killed my father, Inspector. It was Father Fabiani. Dun dun dun. Take care, Daphne. You are making a serious accusation. I'm certain of what I'm saying. The father gathered a substantial amount of money from the auction. And he lost everything during a poker game with your father. Yes, but how did you know? I am suddenly a competent detective. Never mind. All that matters is that I know. Well, the day after this famous poker game, Father Fabiani came to the house to speak to my father. He openly threatened to kill him if my father didn't give him the money, or back the money. Okay, but that is not enough to make him a murderer. I assure you, yesterday Father Fabiani had a meeting with my father, and I believe, and believe it or not, when I passed him in the corridor, I noticed that he was carrying some strange object in his pocket. Surely the murder weapon. Well, thanks for this explanation, Daphne. Believe me, Inspector, money and gambling have made more than one person lose their head. He's just so hanging out just... in the corner of a wrecked <laughs> So this is like the part where everyone gives you their theories. Yeah. Any credence to that one? It's kind of reiterating the things that we've kind of Worked put out. together ourselves, really. But that's good, because it feels like that meter at least on the right track with these theories. Yeah. We did need um, to speak to her, though, don't we? Yeah, I think so. But she's going to have locked the door now. Oh, <laughs> why? I want to speak to you. Let's just walk around every past everyone's rooms and see if they go, Psst. Come in. Yep, let's go. Tour the ship. Just seemingly they're all whispering their <laughs> theories to us now. Psst. <laughs> Might require a specific direction as well. Do they? Well, some of the transitions do, don't they? Oh, yeah, true. Oh, we'll go around in events. the other way as well. <laughs> Still a so massive dumb. hole in the ship. <laughs> uh, well, this is our room, isn't it? Yeah, toilet in our room. So we're not going to get anything here, because Julio's out on the deck. Open your door. You. Oh! <laughs> Inspector, I have something to tell you now. You've come by this direction. 